the rude boys back in town. The Don Raja Apache goes Indian again, right here in Bombay City. And this time, fun and joke aside, you know, we're going to bring you a serious program. We're going to go to the heart of the red light district, right here in Bombay. And you know that we don't come here to ramp, we don't come here to play. We're going to show you some serious vibes. We're actually going to be talking to the prostitutes, sex workers, doctors. We're going to be reasoning with people who actually have AIDS. Some of this is going to be shocking. Some of it's going to be disturbing. Some of it's going to make you sick. But believe me, guaranteed it's going to be very, very interesting. So make sure you don't go nowhere. This is another side of Bombay. This is why it really matters. Respect, rude boy. It's a serious scene out here. We're going to visit a rehabilitation centre for sex workers. We're going to talk to the woman that runs this centre called Mrs Merchant and find out a little bit about the girls, the background, and find out what really is going on in this place. So you, you run this place? Yeah. You're going to tell me a little bit about what you do here and everything? Yeah, sure. We are basically running a project in the red light area of Bombay, okay. working with sex workers, clients, and everybody related to the trade on HIV AIDS awareness. We have these social workers who go into the area every day, talk to them, okay. and we help them in all their day-to-day -day problems. How do the girls feel about this establishment? How do the girls feel about it? They are very happy to come here, and they are the ones who even encourage us to work with the men, saying that the decision is not in their hands, because they, for them, they have to written, listen to the brothel owner as well as they are more worried about where the next, next meal is coming from. Your day-to-day -day survival is a bigger problem than AIDS for these girls. So let's now really like to talk to some of these girls because you know, some of them haven't yeah. really said anything. Yeah, okay. And just tell them not to feel embarrassed or shy. Anything they don't like, they don't have to say. Okay. All right? She's saying she actually came from Nepal just to see Bombay. She wanted to know what kind of a place it is. She'd heard a lot about it. Right. And over here, some guys uh, met her and, you know, took her and sold her off to a brothel. And she's saying, I didn't know anything about prostitution or anything. And it just, it was after I got sold to a brothel that I saw all this and then became a sex worker. Tell her thank you for telling me that. Thank you, Manta. To Mantla, madam. <laughs> I'm going to check out this Unison Medical Center. I'm going to meet this guy called Dr. So, Galad. So I believe he's been running doctor. intense programs in the heart of the red light district. So we're going to go with him, find out what the scene is. And to tell you the truth, I wouldn't really go those areas without this guy, because he's the key man. This is a warning for each and every one you have to know about the AIDS across the island. This is a warning for all the youth them know about the AIDS. You know, I, I had a song on the first album. Uh -huh. Called AIDS Warning. Uh -huh. we, should, we should do a new song now. Yeah, if new song. New fine. song, 95, new song. New song, and you encountered India in that. Because uh, talking about Europe and Western world is no good for AIDS now. All right. Uh, India is coming on the big horizon for AIDS. And next couple of decades are for AIDS in India. So, Doctor, this is this is the main area. This is the con 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 Kamatipura. Kamatipura, the red light district. Yes. All right, so we can just come out here, it's all right? Yeah, yeah. Safe? Safe. safe. Sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, you're the main man now. Yeah, yeah. All right, respect, let's go. All right, doctor? Yes. Busy place this is. Busy. Actually, uh, in the evening, you see a lot of activity here. Yeah. Because they're all on the street, and then a lot of clients in here. At present, they're just getting up, getting ready. They get up late. All they right. get up around noon time and then they get ready. They cook. And their living conditions are very poor, you know. This is how people live on the side, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, well, this one side, all the brothels, and these are temporary makeshift brothels. Also, these, these, these are br brothels? Yeah, they, they, these are all brothels. Oh. Yeah. So they are, and these are makeshift brothels, that they stay in a small hut like this. and. So, so like clients would come here during the during the day, during, during the night. During the day, during the night, but in the evening after five o'clock, six o'clock, there's more rush. Oh, there's no rush. More rush. More rush. Yeah, because oh, it gets busy. At, uh, it gets busy in the night because then the clients cannot be recognized in the night hours. Oh, oh. Keep a low profile. Yeah, yeah. And and would tourists come here with, from different countries and stuff? Uh, they come yeah, here? they do come from uh, Middle East countries and some other countries. All right. But. Uh, 
almost 90% of the client is local client. And there's, and there's little kids living here, babies? Yeah, and yeah, yeah babies and uh, children and old people. What we get is our Saheli. Oh, Saheli ko bulao. Saheli is a peer leader. She's a leader of a sex worker. All right. So I must say that, you know, it's very sad to see. Yeah. Very, you know what I mean? And you see, they cook here, they live here, the children are here. In just one room, they do everything. And in one room of 10 by 10 size, there are maybe about 10 to 12 girls living. 10 to 12 girls living here. Yeah. So doctor, who is this woman? She is Jyoti. She Jyoti. Is a, she is a peer leader of the prostitutes. So she is in charge of 25 girls living in her brothel. So what's her job? What's her job? Her to job do? is to distribute condom to these 25 girls, to talk to them about AIDS and other sexual transmitted diseases, and bring them to the mobile clinic if one of them is sick, and uh, teach them client negotiation techniques. Oh. So if some client do not want to use condom, she has to convince the client. And this job is done by these two girls, uh, Ella Wo and Manda. They train her. Oh, right. We train them, they train her, and she trains other girls. So you supply her with condoms? Oh, yeah, full, full supply. This is a condom supply now. She will give it to her. Oh, this, is, this is condoms in this, this condoms, box? Yeah. They, they, this is called Nirod. In India, it is called Nirod. Nirod? Oh, Nirod. Can you Nirod. see one? Oh, you have... Oh, this is government supply of condoms. And we distribute uh, half million condoms every month amongst 5,500 prostitutes in Bombay. Oh, I see. So it's a good operation. It's a good operation, yeah. So I she see. works very closely with your yeah, yeah, team? Yeah. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Respect. What's it? What's it? Hi. Hi. Okay. So there's many women like her doing the oh, same many. job? There are 200 such women. There's 200 which are, like this? Which are peer leaders. Rajiv. And they cover 5,000 prostitutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, See, we are very much concerned about such young children, you know? Yeah. These children have very uh, bleak future. So if these children are supported for their education, maybe they can come out of this system and they can be different citizens. So if, if the children are born into these families, do they automatically kind of end up in the same way? Do they? Yeah, uh, by and large, female children become prostitutes. 90, 95%, 99%. Is there, no, is there no education school for them? Do they go to school? Now they're going, but earlier, before our entry here, they were not accepted in school because they don't have father's name. All right. And in a patriarchal society, we require father's name, father's parentage. And because there's nobody who can be identified as a father, they were not going to school, so we fought in High Court, Supreme Court, and we got the law changed that even they can go in the mother's name. Now they are going to school, but after uh, five or six standards of schooling, they become dropouts, and they are not safe in this area. They are not safe. So they are sometimes sex abused, and once they are sex abused, then they get into prostitution. All right. Now what I was talking about, Devdasya uh, system, the darshan dakwa dana, darshan, darshan. See these red and white beads. Yeah. She's a Devdasi. She's dedicated to goddess. She's dedicated to God. All this where the religion comes in. Yeah, religious comes in. Devi. Devi. Kabe. 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 You want to see the Devi? Goddess? She want? You want to see the goddess? The goddess? Goddess Elama? Yeah, we see the goddess. Upstairs. It's the first time for everything, you know. What I mean? <laughs> We will go where man has not gone before. Come with me. I've been many places in my life, but this is the first time for this one, my friend. Take off our shoes. We have to take off our shoes. This is a religious place. Yeah, yeah. All right, take off shoes. Show some respect. Ha! What's happening? Here I know. Hello, hello, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good greeting. Thank you. Come. She is Kamala Thai. She is uh, the in charge of the red light area over here. All right. And she is our peer leader. Peer leader. Peer leader. This is, what's, what's this now? This one is Ellama. These guys worship Goddess Alama? Yeah, uh, you see, uh, girls who are dedicated to this goddess, they become Devadasis. That girl may be 4 year old, 10 year old, 15 year old, but when the girl grows up and becomes 16, 17, 18 year old, then they decide to put her into a system where she is sexually exploited. When the girl becomes, uh, uh, attains puberty, then there's auction. 
मैं जिंदा है मेरा है मैं मर जाऊंगा मेरी बेटी का बेटी सेज सो लॉन्ग एज आई एम अलीव आई एम गोइंग टू लुक आफ्टर हर द गॉडेस आफ्टर आई डाई माय डॉटर्स डॉटर शी इज ऑलरेडी देवदासी शी विल लुक आफ्टर हर हियर व्हाट यू सी दर्शन दे रहा हूं उनको सी दिस दिस बीड इज अ साइन ऑफ अ डेडिकेशन ऑफ अ गर्ल टू द गॉडेस एलमा व्हेन शी वाज 11 इयर ओल्ड शी वाज डेडिकेटेड टू द गॉडेस एलमा एंड शी वाज ब्रॉट टू प्रोस्टिट्यूशन इन द नेम ऑफ एलमा गॉडेस बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ रिलीजियस सैंक्शन to the system of dedication of goddess and because they are married to goddess in a superstitious system they are barred from real marriage and once they are barred from real marriage that means they have to stay alone for the lifetime and this kind of prostitution is legitimized through this elama goddess system 15 to 20 percent of them are through this system called devdasi system all right so we're going to meet the hijra hijra uh, was there na uh, again uh, like uh, devdasi cult Like Devdasi cult, this is a cult. What do you want? Come sit down, sit down. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apache, Apache, I am London. Ah, so there is no bad thing. So I am not. Not Hindi, not Hindi. English. One some other. No, I am London. I am London. Hijra is a cult where homosexuality is not accepted in the name of uh, uh, social acceptance or legally. So anything which is not legally and socially accepted. it gets accepted in the name of cult and right. religion the hijra and is a cult then is a cult so there are three type of hijras transsexuals which are getting sex change surgery done by the doctors transvestites which are male in female cloth and then there are eunuchs which are getting castration done by their own hijra senior hijras which are called daima and yeah. they are also part of this system where some of them are in prostitution some of them are uh, begging and singing and dancing and thrive on that and some of them do some kind of odd job and survive हिजड़ा क्या है हिजड़ा 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 घड़े 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 हिजड़ा ले रहा है हिजड़ा किस काम का सुनो बात सुनो हिजड़ा हमारे पेट के लिए चलते हिजड़ा अपना पेट के लिए करता है वही समझा रहा है ये घड़े घड़े हिजड़ा हिजड़ा इंग्लिश में क्या ठोक रहा है इंग्लिश में सुनो ये कीचड़ हो जाए उड़ता कि नहीं उड़ता सही बात है सही बात है तो कैसे एड्स का काम कर रहे हैं कैसे निरोध बांट रहे कैसे लोगों को समझा रहे ये ये पूछ रहे कि लोग निरोध नहीं लगाते इनको क्या समझाते हैं नॉट रीच द पॉइंट वी मस्ट स्टे टू लेट्स मूव ये लोग क्या अननेसेसरी लेट्स मूव बिग रिस्पेक्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच मिशन मेरा उनको अच्छा नहीं लगा आपको उनको अच्छा नहीं लगा ऐसा 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 नहीं करने का मेहमान कोई आया ना वो क्या अपने इसे बात करने को आया क्या समझने को आया ये बात की अगर आप उनसे झगड़ा करते एब्सोल्युटली नो डिसरिस्पेक्ट एट होम एंड आफ्टर आफ्टर लीव दिस प्लेस मैन बिकॉज़ यू नो आई जस्ट फील दैट आई एम इंट्रूडिंग आई मीन दिस यू नो दे दे हैव देयर ओन सिस्टम इट्स रिलेटेड टू रिलीजन एज़ फार एज़ आई कंसर्न आई डोंट रियली वांट टू इंसल्ट और एम्बैरस माय सेल्फ ऑल देम यू नो आई जस्ट लीव देम टू देयर ओन थिंग रिस्पेक्ट कर्टन <laughs> uh has been devised for two girls at a time so once they put this curtain on and this curtain on then two girls can do their business at a time i see so this is the, the and this has how many places like this is about eight beds yeah, or eight beds here eight beds here and they will all be busy every night yeah so the women actually live here during the day with the with the kids and yeah. everything yeah and um the work in the evening so kids, kids condition is pathetic here yeah. so really what you're saying is the kids are born in this environment they more or less will end up in the same kind of Especially if you like in the same yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. It's very sad. Yeah, that's sad. I've been many places in my time, but this is like. I I knew that this would be most shocking experience for you in your life. Very disturbing as well. Very disturbing. Very shocking. You know because there's many different kinds of places in Bombay. There's rich and there's poor and there's Hi. this. But should we go? Should we go back down? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the hospitality. Hospitality. Should we have to make it? He learn new thing. Ah, hisab kaise rakhte dikha jara? Hisab kaise rakhte sabka? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? He he he's selling this. Ha. This guy is selling and, trader. And he 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 keeps collecting money every day or every week depending on what he decides. Oh, trader. 
Trader, trader man, so... Yeah, everybody makes money here. So the conclusion is that everybody makes money except for the prostitutes. It's not a very happy situation. Living off the earnings, it's like everybody's living off the earnings of yes. prostitution. Well, I think that was an experience for me and these people won't see Unforgettable. me again. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. They won't see me again yet. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Come on. So, Doctor. Yes. That was an experience for me. This guy is from where? He's from Oman. 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 This guy is from Oman. His client. Either guy under. Jaga. Nirod laga da gini. Isko nirod jao nirod de. Jab bhi jaye nirod laga ke jaane. Let's give him a condom. Let's give him a condom. Make sure he uses these things. Uh, you know, I mean, what is it? What is it? Lagaega na connection. Tab nirod lagane ka. You use. Thank you. See, on the street education, you see that? <laughs> Respect. So we passed like this is a brothel. How yeah. much women in each one? How much will be working? Five, six, eight, ten. Five, six, eight, ten? Yeah. And a small, small compartment inside. Is there, is there one person looking after each brothel? Yeah, one, one brothel manager for each brothel. One brothel manager for each brothel. So she's gonna... Can you see this used condom? At least we can see that the condoms are used. Oh. That's first sign. Oh, that's a, that's an angle. Yeah, but they don't if have... on the floor and the, you can see that they're being used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can make out... We All can't right. count how many, but a lot of them are seen here. There's another lane. There's another lane. We've gone so, around the block. So, so there are lanes and lanes and lanes, you know. And all, and all these kind of numbered brothers also, there's no special number system. Oh. They're all fake numbers. And they are self-identification numbers given by themselves. So there is no license or something like that. So this is a regular thing, you come out and give people the condoms yeah, yeah, and all, it's yeah, a regular? Yeah. How often? Every week, every day? They, they come, uh, we cover eight different areas. Eight different areas? And twice a week. So each area is covered twice a week. Do they insist that the clients use this? Well, the, that is our primary goal, that we want to achieve 100% condom usage. No condom, no sex. And that is going to benefit them. And do they stick by that policy? Oh yeah, because uh, what happens is if they are using condom regularly, yeah. they are not uh, getting any new STDs, sexual transmitted diseases. Yeah. They are not going to doctors. And they feel themselves healthy. There is no white discharge, there is no ulcer, there is no burning in urine. Yeah. So it is benefiting them. And once they know that it is benefiting them, yeah. themselves, then they stick to it. Alright. Alright. Nice to meet you. Can I ask you how much? How much perhaps a woman would charge for like one client, uh, average? Uh, it averages from 15 rupees to 25, 30, 40 rupees. 15 rupees? To 30, Sorry. 40 rupees. And one, and, and one English pound is about 45 rupees? Yes, yes. so it is less than one pound. It's less than one pound? In one pound, one can go for two or three occasions. One pound, you can have yeah. two or three women? Yeah. Sex perhaps is the like cheapest. It's about 25 pence or something like that. English. Sex is the cheapest recreation in India. Cheapest recreation. Amazing. Yeah. And, that, and that's like children get involved with that as well. There's children, there's oh, child yeah. sex. Yeah, yeah. Child right. sex, it, it costs a little more. It costs more? Yeah. This shop, this shop is like the regular shop. We sell condoms in here? Yeah, this shop is basically a regular shop for uh, pan parag and cigarette and this thing. But he sells condom of different varieties. And th this is also from the government? It comes no, from no. you? No, no. Private it's thing private. this is? He privately is making a business out of it. He's selling it. Desire condom. Desire condoms. <laughs> this is darling, actually. <laughs> this is darling. All right, I think you keep these for clients. Yeah, yeah. This is Vimal Kumar. He's a uh, pimp. He's a pimp? Yeah. All right, how long? How long he's been doing that? Yes, I'll say happy. 15 years. Since one year, he has this. Uh, in the mouth he has ulcers. So. Ulcers in the mouth is like a, a sign of AIDS? And, uh, fungus, fungus in the mouth. Fungus? Fungus in the mouth in a young sexually active adult yeah. is HIV. HIV? Yeah. What is then, he then, the... then he has also genital ulcers. He's genital ulcers. Telling. What about his back? What did he show us on his back? What did he have? He, he has a uh, severe skin problem called Siboria. Can we see? Yeah, yeah. Siboric dermatitis. Siboric dermatitis. And this again comes so from the virus? Yeah, it's a secondary infection to the virus. He must be having uh, lymph node. What is that? Gland. Gland. Which is because of HIV. It's called persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. See the gland here? See this gland? You can treat now, you can... No. No? You see, uh, we can prolong his lifespan. We can uh, reduce his sufferings. But we cannot undo what has been happened to her. No, we'll and there's a treatment for everything else than HIV. So his oral thrush we can treat. All right. His seboria we can treat. But we cannot treat his HIV. So how long do you think you'll have? Maybe another one year, two years. Another one year? Maybe two years. So one in, one in how much may have the virus? One in... Oh, in, the, uh, in this kind of people, yeah. at least one in three has a virus. One in three pimps will have the virus. One in three or one in two? One in two. And also, are, are these guys also wise to the condom use? Yeah. yeah, they were used. That they, they think it's a good thing. Respect. Thank you very much. Yes, Shane. Nice. <laughs> so you must be really dedicated, dedicated to your work to kind of go through this every day. I I, I am, but Why? I don't know. Why? You see, uh, it is some kind of uh, at a point of no return, where we started work here with the idea of providing them better health care, yeah. providing them uh, prevention of sexual transmitted disease and AIDS. Yeah. But when we do that, we sometimes have to solve the problem of the children, the families, the police harassment. And when we, when we do that, then we get more support for our work. Yeah. So even if we want that somebody else should do that job, which is a social worker's job, we have to do even that job. And uh, we have to do it because uh, it's a point of no return. And so we, I, we I, I, pleasure out of it. I'm completely safe. You know, I have a wife and children and everything. You know, I'm completely safe. I'm not... I'm safe. <laughs> you, you, you don't catch HIV just by being in the red light area. Yeah, but you don't like catch HIV by touch or by hug or by touching or by uh, drinking water or something here. With. But you do catch if you are having unsafe sex with the sex workers here. Because 60% of them are infected here. 60% of these people are infected. infected with HIV. And so, uh, so how much, you know, on average, how much clients would come to prostitutes all of Bombay? How much do you think? I mean, uh, you see, there are an estimated 70,000 prostitutes, which are poor prostitutes, street problem prostitutes. And on an average, they get three clients per prostitute per night. So about 210,000 clients per night. 210,000. So I suppose that's a drop now. It must have been more before. Yeah, uh, in 1991, there used to be about 100,000 prostitutes here. And each prostitute used to get five clients per prostitute per night. So total 500,000 clients. Every night? Every night. So it is a 56% drop. It's absolutely in amazing. Last three, four years. And I bet you people don't realize that that's, that's going on right here in Bombay yeah. right now. Nice. Boy, out of all the places I've been around the world, the red light district in Bombay has absolutely blown me away. I have to say that. You know, came here a little bit ignorant, not really knowing about the problem and the size, the size of the problem out here. If it's a problem, I mean, it's a whole, it's almost like a whole culture out here. The people are here, they're doing their thing. And it just blown me away because, you know, it's interesting to see, it, but it just throws a whole new light on the whole topic of AIDS. Big respect to Dr. Galada for showing me what's really happening out here. And I, and I really believe that, you know, and the vibe that I felt out here is not anybody that can actually come to the red light district. I mean, obviously, if you're a client, you come here, but just to find out what's really happening, you come with the right people. So it's thanks to Dr. Galada for showing me around and really changing my conception, changing my whole attitude, my whole thinking behind what's happening in this area. You feel like getting involved. I would give out condoms without any shame at all because you feel that way. My mind has been changed. Apache Indian show is the real vibes. Have to show you what else is happening in Bombay. Make sure you don't go nowhere. Same time next week with me, Apache Indian, in the same place. Respect and honor. Thanks.